is the Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from solvable for p so let's get started problem solve p cube plus 2x minus y square into p square equals to 2x y square p solution given differential equation is given differential equation is p q plus 2x minus y square into p square equals to 2x y square into p then you can rewrite it as p q plus 2x minus y square into p square now take this to lhs minus 2x y square into p equals to 0 see you are having p in all the three terms right so take p common from all the three terms you'll get p times p square plus 2x minus y square into p minus 2x y square equals to 0 then p equals to 0 and p square plus 2x minus y square into p minus 2x y square equals to 0 okay so firstly let's consider p equals to 0 now put p equals to dy by dx then dy by dx equals to 0 then dy equals to 0 into dx 0 now integrating by integrating we'll get y equals to integral constant c then y minus c equals to 0 so y minus c equals to 0 is the solution for p equals to 0 okay now we'll find the solution for this equation p square plus 2x minus y square times p minus 2x y square equals to 0. You can write it as p square plus 2x into p 2xp minus y square into p minus 2x y square equals to 0. So from the first two terms take p common you will get p times p plus 2x and from the next two terms we can take y square common right so take minus y square common from the next two terms you'll get minus y square times p plus 2x equals to 0 you're having p plus 2 in both the terms right so take p plus 2x common you'll get p plus 2x times p minus y squared okay equals to 0 then p plus 2x equals to 0 and p minus y squared equals to 0 so from this we got two equations p plus 2x equals to 0 and p minus y squared equals to 0 so let's find solution for p plus 2x equals to 0. p plus 2x equals to 0. Again you can write it as p equals to minus 2x. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then dy by dx equals to minus 2x. Then dy equals to minus 2x into dx. Now by integrating on both sides. Okay. Integral dx. Sorry integral dy is y equals to minus 2 into. Integral x dx is x squared by 2. Plus integral constant c. So here 2 gets cancelled then. y equals to minus x squared plus c. You can take these two terms to LHS. Then you get y plus x square minus c equals to 0. Okay. So, y plus x square minus c equals to 0 is the solution for p plus 2x equals to 0. 
Now we will find the solution for p minus y square equals to 0. P minus y square equals to 0. You can write this as p equals to y square. Now put t equals to dy by dx. Then dy by dx equals to y square. Then 1 by y square into dy equals to dx. Now integrating on both sides. So you can write integral 1 by y square as integral y power minus 2 into dy. Then since we know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c for n not equals to minus 1. Here you are having n equals to minus 2 right. So we can apply this formula y power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 equals to integral dx is x plus integral constant c. Then y power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by minus 1 equals to x plus c then 1 by minus 1 into y power minus n can be written as 1 by y power n right so we can write this y power minus 1 as 1 by y or y power 1 which is 1 equals to x plus 1 then minus 1 by y equals to x plus c x plus c then minus 1 equals to xy plus cy. Again you can rewrite it as xy plus cy equals to minus 1. Then xy plus cy plus 1 equals to 0. So xy plus cy plus 1 equals to 0 is solution for p minus y square equals to 0. Okay. The combination of these three solutions is the required solution for the given equation. Therefore, The required solution is y minus c into y plus x square minus c into xy plus cy plus 1 equals to 0. So this completes the problem. We have seen a problem from solver for P method. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video until then. Bye bye.